Mothers, good morning. Please hear me out. The only way I am going to help my son here on earth, whether I am around him or not, is by being firm, tough, strong, persistent, and consistent in giving him truth, speaking truth to him, knowing that real love speaks truth because truth saves. Giving him real love by Christ Jesus. Showing him the way to go. Teaching him faith in Christ, the Lamb of God. Teaching him to turn away from evil and from sin and from bad company because he will be soiled. Showing him that there is an enemy he doesn't see who is following him left, right, and center, and that enemy is there to spoil his life. Showing him that doing things God's way is the best way to manage on earth. That whatever he needs, whether he needs a nice shoe, whether he needs a nice car, whether he needs to go to a good school, whether he needs to be a lawyer, a doctor, an erotic engineer, an artist, whatever he is doing, truth says he has to do it in God my Father. Knowing that if he is hidden in my King, if he is, he is hidden in my God, that is his protection. Therefore, when I'm speaking to him, I am firm in Christ. And that is the way to love my son. Why? I am a woman who knew Christ when I was, when I started to understand like this, I knew church. Other people don't know church, but I grew up knowing church. I grew up knowing tongues. I grew up knowing Jesus. I grew up singing songs to God. But the world took me to a place that was so bad and evil. A place that I don't know. It's, it's so dirty and so evil and so bad. And I ended up connecting myself to things that were not truth. The best way to help you is by telling you, do not sin as Jesus said it in John 8. I don't have to go around the bushes and tell you, no, Jesus loves you. God loves you. The grace of God. All that is good talk. But the truth of the matter is the wages of sin is death. When you sin, you're paid death. Everything you do about you is death because you're following the father of the dead. The devil is the dead God, not my king. Satan is the dead God. So when I tell my son that, I say, God, follow the words that I'm telling my son. Follow the words that I'm speaking to my daughter. I have to be firm. I have to be strong. I will knock on your door when you're in that bedroom smoking with I say, hey, that is what killed me. You can't die. And I have to stand and say, Satan, let go of my son. Satan, let go of my daughter. The world go. Jezebel go. Lucifer go. I have to say it in boldness and in firmness. Why? That is the best way to save my child. That is the best way to save my daughter. Jesus told this woman, sin no more. Why? She was going to be killed by men. She was going to be stoned to death. And she met the love. She met love. She met grace. And what is grace? Saving other people. What is love? Caring for other people, showing them that, hey, if you take that route, you're gone and dead. Your future is gone. Quit the world. Keep your eyes in the word of God. Surround yourself with worship songs. Remove bad words from your phone. Quit those evil bad friends. That is the best way to save my son and pray for them. That God may use you to save them. Go to church and worship God and be involved in church. Because if you're in church and you're not serving God, the devil can snatch you away from church. And keep your eyes in the word. Going to church, of course, it's not enough. Be ye holy for I am holy, says God. Save your children by truth. And that is what they call true love for your child. True love for your child. I love you, Rachel Gayla. Kiss her.